So, if you have this, do you really need this? All right, guys, I am back with another video to quickly give the rundown on the difference between these two babies. If you have this one, do you really need this one? And the whole idea of an intense fragrance is that it's going to be stronger than the pre than the odor perfume. It's going to last longer. You're just going to get more bang for your buck. In fact, um, pound for pound, ounce for ounce, the intense does cost more than the odor perfume. Now you all know that the odor perfume was released back in 2023, and it is a vanilla bomb so if you are a vanilla lover you need to stop watching and go and pick up this vanilla goddess and as you all know the notes in the Odo perfume are going to be vanilla 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 the top notes you're going to get vanilla ginger you're going to get some lavender the middle note you're going to get some more vanilla and then the base note you're going to get vanilla now with the intense they did switch it up and you've got lavender as the top note and as the middle note you have vanilla and as the base note you have patchouli now the curveball that they threw in here was adding a vanilla that has a very woody aromatic scent and in fact I think they have it listed as vanilla SLE and you can really tell with this one with this particular scent the original auto perfume you're clearly going to get vanilla because actually I think it's four types of vanilla in here you get the vanilla caviar you get the vanilla absolute and in a vanilla infusion and all of it you'll find the vanilla in the top note the middle note as well as the base so you can't help but uh, get vanilla with this one but this one immediately when you spray it you are getting the vanilla but you're getting more of the lavender and they even threw patchouli as the base note so I don't believe in my opinion they didn't add enough vanilla in this particular fragrance to I guess um, I don't want to say overpower the patchouli and the lavender but that's what you're getting more of with this fragrance if you don't if you have this one and the only reason that you bought this one was strictly for the vanilla I would recommend that you don't need this one but if you want to add a little bit of variety to your collection and you really enjoy the scent of patchouli as well as having an, a vanilla that has you know a woody scent or an aromatic type of note you will really enjoy this one both of these are equally long lasting I don't find that one is more more uh, potent than the other if you spray it on your clothes it's definitely uh, even either one you're definitely going to have to wash it out of your clothes upon I can wear both of these and in the six and seven hour mark I'm still going to smell both of them no matter how how much I spray if I spray one spray or if I spray four or five now what I do like about the original um, eau de perfume is that you can mix this one with a lot of other fragrances and it really turns into something beautiful with this one with the intense if you're into mixing fragrances to try to find something that's original to you it can be a little bit difficult because you got that um, you have the patchouli and the lavender and while they did add another vanilla into it it's the type of vanilla it's that woody vanilla so you're not you you're not if you were to spray this and someone to smell were to smell you in my opinion I don't get the impression that they would say oh you have on a vanilla fragrance or oh you have on a nice vanilla fragrance so with that being said these two are totally different now you may ask um, that's not even the purpose um, in an intense fragrance just because it's an intense doesn't mean it has to smell like uh, the original how 
however that's what I was hoping for when this said intense I was hoping that it would just be this exact fragrance but you know more potent you know instead of it lasting six or seven hours maybe ten hours or something like that but I, I was a, a little bit disappointed that it didn't smell that that it smells different from the odor perfume in fact I would say that it it to me it's <sighs> I'm just not getting a lot of the vanilla. So if you're out there wondering, should you get the intense in hopes that it's more potent than this one, I would say definitely go into Sephora and smell it and see what it smells like. Let it sit on your on your skin um, for a couple of hours and then, you know, just kind of see what it turns into. And after you do that, then make the determination if you want to purchase it. But the only way that I would say that you need both the Auto Perfume and the Intense is that if you like patchouli and lavender and you're okay or you like the vanilla woody note I do like vanilla but I don't know if I'm a fan of the vanilla SLE I'll, I'll put it on the screen and it's supposed to be one of the stronger more potent vanillas and I feel like it just kind of takes away from the original vanilla scent that everybody knows that everybody's familiar with uh, the crowd pleaser I think you all get the picture this one's more of a, a to me it's more of a unique different type of fragrance will I keep it yes I will will I love it more than I love this one no I won't so anyway I hope that helps I know this video was short and sweet but I just wanted to quickly tell you all my thoughts on these two little babies right here let me know down in the comments if you have the eau de perfume or the intense if you plan on getting them both let me know down in the comments I'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches